Hi, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, and Venus rising, and those of you cross watching. In today's tarot reading, we are going to take a look and see whether you and your person will reconnect. Okay, so if you're currently in a no contact, no communication phase of your relationship, we want to see whether they're going to reach out, and more importantly, whether the both of you are reconnecting. Okay, so whether it's going to go beyond that. It is going to be a general reading, guys. So um, please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed just below the video. All right, so let's get stuck into the reading. Your person is feeling a lot of pain. There's a lot of heavy energy here. You've got swords that have shown up numerous times here. And swords, of course, are, you know, they're a weapon here. They can be used for both good and bad, you know, destruction and power. Your person is feeling a lot of hurt. They're feeling a lot of pain. So if there's no contact, no communication right now, your person is quite upset by this, right? Um, you've got the number 10 that's come up uh, twice here. And the number twin, uh, sorry, the number 10 is, you know, it's, it's good luck, actually. I feel like it's a good omen that the fact that the number 10 has showed up, tw um, has showed up twice here. Um, and I feel like the reason why it's shown up, you know, for your reading and your person is because someone here is experiencing great turmoil, okay, maybe your person is, maybe you are, maybe the both of you, maybe this whole relationship has been nothing but turmoil and turbulency, but, you know, someone here is experiencing great turmoil about what should happen, okay, or about what should happen next. So, for instance, you know, if you are not communicating, not contacting um, each other, your person might be thinking about you a lot, okay, because swords are mental energy here, and there's a lot of um, there's a lot of mental energy going on here, so you may be on your person's mind. If you find yourself thinking about your person a lot, maybe it's because, you know, you guys are picking up on each other's energy waves, like vibrationally you guys are thinking about each other, and therefore, you know, you're connecting um, on that, you know, on the vibrational level. So your person, I feel like, is struggling maybe to reach out, uh, maybe they're not sure how you respond. Maybe they want to open up and say something, but they're scared. To me, it feels like they're very guarded and they're very closed off right now. Your individual, okay? Um, some of you, you might be dealing with an air sign or someone who has um, air in their natal chart. Otherwise, I just feel like communication is a really big thing in your connection, okay? So no contact, no communication, or the energies feel very stagnant. They feel very blocked, okay? So either you guys have blocked each other energetically. So even though you guys want to, even though there's a desire to reconnect, it's like you're trying to keep each other at a distance. Maybe you're trying to get back at, e back at each other, okay? Maybe you're trying to play, I don't know, some games here. You do have, you know, the sun here, which depicts a child. So maybe, I don't know, it stems from a sense of, you know, childlike behavior, childlike you know, predisposition, um, maybe you guys, yeah, the fact that you've hurt each other, like, maybe, you know, they've hurt you, and now you've hurt them, and now they want to hurt you back, that kind of energy, you know, tit for tat, um, it just feels all, like, the both of you, even though you want to talk, there's something here that's preventing you from opening up, and really, you know, saying what's on your mind, the nine of wands is a wounded soldier, I feel like your person is holding you at a distance, I feel like your person is very, um, it's like they're very suspicious or they're very guarded. They're trying to keep you at a distance. It does feel like there's a desire to reconnect, but it feels like your person is hurting and they may be angry, okay? The turbulent clouds in the background seem to indicate that maybe recent conversation has been a little bit... Like maybe, you know, the both of you are a little bit more aggressive or a little bit, you know, mean to each other, like mean-spirited to each other. Um, or there may be future contact, for, uh, future communication between you and this person. And because swords are, you know, a very quick moving energy, they're quick pace, right? Think the wind, right? Air, okay? It happens very quickly, right? Um, so contact communication might happen very quickly. Or when you guys do communicate, somehow you start off good and somehow you end up saying things to hurt each other, saying things to get back at each other. Um, this needs to stop. It's not good for you. It's not good for them. It's not good for the sake of this relationship. Okay, so... Um, and the other thing, the reason why it's happening is because the, the underlying theme in this reading, I think, is like hurt. It's pain. It's turmoil. It's turbulency. Okay, so... I'm sure you're all familiar with the phrase, you know, hurt people, hurt others. So when someone is hurting, right, 
they may be projecting their hurt onto others and you know they may go around you know and hurt people um maybe your person feels like you've hurt them so now they want to get back you know get back here get back at you they want to get even steven and hurt you just the same okay um if they're like quite angry and very dismissive what you say it could be because there's a lot of hurt behind it okay or if it's you okay if you find yourself lashing out at your person or if you find yourself being very angry it's because that energy is being driven by hurt and pain okay so you or your person needs to look into that because you know there's unhealed i feel like there's an unhealed pain or anger here that is weighing really heavy on this relationship um i do think you and your person are thinking about each other a lot i do i think you know there's this mental thread that connects the both of you and i think that you know um, even if you guys are not not in contact with one another, like you're thinking about each other, you're thinking, and you, you know your person crosses your mind from time to time, or you know a lot more often than that, and I think you cross your person's mind as well. Um, it feels like you know the divine message behind the number ten here is spiritual growth. Okay, it's positive vibrations. It's you know having a positive outlook and a positive out attitude despite. A negative or not so positive situation so I think it's so important for the both of you to approach this reconnection positively right um, the number 10 in many ways is a new beginning as well so I think that you know despite the hurt and the pain that you have caused each other or, or are causing each other the cards strongly seem to indicate there is an opportunity for a new beginning okay and the number 10 here could be telling you or it could be telling a person, perhaps the both of you, because I feel like it's no coincidence that 10 has showed up twice. The 10 of, you know, you've got the 10 of swords, which is, you know, it is what it is. Look at it. Look at that. You know, we've got a figure here. He's got 10 swords staked into his back. It's painful. It looks, you know, it's betrayal. It's pain. It's, yeah, it's crazy. And then you've got the, you know, the 10 of pentacles, which is just... An entirely different story but the number 10 could be telling you that you know it's time to learn it's time to learn something new about yourselves or something new about each other or it's time to learn from them you know from past mistakes and in the time and it might be time to move on okay because someone and I think it's both of you because I think you're both energetically quite connected I think it's time to learn from those mistakes it's time to heal some pain because I think what's really getting in the way of contact communication and more importantly a reconnection is the pain right it's like someone can't move up, move on from the fact that you know this person has caused you pain or that they've or you've caused them pain or you know from what happened here it's like someone is still stuck on that and you know moving on is not easy is not easy and everyone's got their own time frame and I don't want to rush anyone but I think the cards I think that's what they're hinting at and I think some of you might agree with me, you know, that it's, it might be time to move on, okay? However moving on means from you. I'm not saying move on from this person. I'm just saying, you know, move on from the pain, move on from the hurt, move on from, you know, whatever this turmoil was or is. It's time to learn from it, right? Grow from it and heal it. Um, 9, 10 is important. I think there may be contact communication on the 9th or the 10th of this month next month it may be nine to ten like you may receive a missed call or a text message from them it could be like 9 a.m 10 a.m 9 p.m 10 p.m i think 9 and 10 is important some of you you might even have like nine when you do communicate it might be like nine messages or ten messages shared between you like you'll ping pong back and forth with contact communication it might you know total up to nine or ten messages or even like nine or ten missed calls yep so was the sister um look i think you've got a lot of beautiful times ahead honestly and i think that it's really time for the both of you to take control of you know an aspect of your relationship where you can heal like you can heal the pain because i think that's what's really getting in the way i think there's like you guys maybe miscommunicate or misunderstand each other you guys are you know you're still you're both really hurt and neither of you are sort of admitting to that at least to each other you're both really hurt about the fact that you guys aren't contacting each other you're not communicating you guys are you know whatever was said here and it was painful okay because the ten of swords it feels like this is 
you know, your person feels really hurt by you. They feel really betrayed by you. And they feel like if they do come back, you're going to do it all over again. Like you've hurt them once. What's not to say you're going to hurt them again? This is how your person feels. Okay. I'm not saying that you are out to get them, but this is how your person feels. Your person still can't move on from the hurt and the pain that you've caused them or the both of you caused each other. And even though they want to have a positive outlook and, you know, they want to think positively like rainbows and unicorns and all that stuff. Um, they know the reality is it's still a lot of hurt in the energies, a lot of pain, and they can't seem to move past it. Try as they might, they can't seem to move past it. I think because it's it's just coming to the tail, like to the tail end of the no contact, no communication. I think they'll be really happy to hear from you. I think the two of you will be really. Um, I think they'll be. You know, if you really wanted to make it work, I think there's a strong chance that you're able to do this. But it does mean like. It does mean letting go of the hurt, letting go of the pain, because that's what's causing a lot of problems, okay? Um, you know, it, to me, like the Ten of Swords represents an energy of being freed from the pain or even destructive behaviors, okay? So if you have a tendency to say things, like to weaponize your words and say things that are hurtful, that's a destructive behavior that needs to go, right? Or vice versa. Well, you know what I mean, right? So it's all about learning from your mistakes. What happens if you don't learn from your mistakes? You guessed it. You're going to keep repeating the same mistakes again and again. Notice the star etched onto the Ten of Pentacles, right? There are some destructive patterns that need to be abandoned, okay? So whether it's you and your person, something was very destructive to this relationship. And it's like the both of you at one stage were, or maybe still are, kind of toxic for each other. But you can change that, okay? You can stop being toxic. Um, people can change things change all the time so absolutely there's an opportunity for a reconnection there's an opportunity for the two of you to rebuild things but there is a lot of pain in the energies your person is very suspicious they think that if you guys will reconnect you're going to hurt them again or you know you guys are just going to go back to what broke the relationship in the first place so it's so important to break destructive patterns break destructive habits and it's so important to learn from your past mistakes and to heal the pain because if that pain is not going to heal and the thing is you need to be a healing energy for your person your person needs to be a healing energy for you right they trust has been broken let me tell you trust has been broken trust has been betrayed it has it has either you know you've betrayed their trust or you know they've betrayed yours but trust is broken can trust be brought back again into this relationship perhaps but it's going to take some time it will not happen overnight so you need to put yourself or you know in a, in a position where they can trust you again because that trust has gone out the window it's gone stick a fork in it that's trust is done right but yes there can be an opportunity for the both of you to trust each other again you know to trust this again but it's going to take time. And if you're patient enough, you know, you can have a beautiful, a wonderful, a healing reconnection. Okay. Because the Ten of Pentacles is a very solid energy. This is, you know, you building a solid foundation for the future, for this connection. Okay. And you can rebuild what you had. And you can even make it even better this time. Alright guys, and I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this channel. Bye!